fake ass. Check this beauty out right here. Now, how many of y'all still think it's okay to drive through a puddle of water? No, guys. Uh, remember the saying. Uh, it's actually not a saying. It's facts. You cannot compress water, meaning an engine is not <laughs> able to compress water. Those pistons that's going up and down inside of your engine, it cannot compress water. So uh, I'm assuming this person uh, decided to try their luck. Now, we're getting ready to put an engine in here. Look at y'all. Y'all can see water in the intake. Guys, once that water hit those valves and that valve open and that water get inside the piston area, the combustion area, and those valves close and that piston come up and try to compress that water instead of air fuel mixture, kaboom! Yep, that's, that'll be about it for you and your car. This is terrible. All right, so the engine is seized up. All right, hydrolock, what we used to call it. All right, getting ready to get an engine. So if y'all ever think about running through a portal of water, don't do it. Think twice. All right, take it from your boy, JT the car guy. Alrighty, guys, y'all saw that shorts video. So let's talk physics, okay? Physics for a second, all right? Now, we talked about in this shorts how <laughs> y'all are aware that you can't compress water. So let's talk about how this can happen anyway. You know your engine have to have a way to breathe, right? Incoming air, this is the air duct system. Now that air has to be filtered. It's an air filter in here. That air has to be filtered because the engine <laughs> don't need to consume any kind of dirt or debris, all right? So most car makers will put a filter before the air actually reach the intake, the throttle body in this case. So let's talk how uh, the routing, now this is a, Challenger with a 3.6 spinner star, but we're gonna talk about How that water can actually make it to the way now y'all see this right? This is water right in the intake So what I'm assuming once those intake valves open up that water fell down in the cylinder and the piston tried to come up and kaboom All right, can't compress water. So how did the water get in here in the first place? It automatically had to come through here, right? So in order to get in through here you have to come through the air ducts, right? The air distribution through this and through this. Now, still, there's some unanswered questions. Okay, how water get in here? Okay, this is the air cleaner box. There's a filter inside of here. All right, in fact, let me take this off. I remember what I told y'all earlier, that air, uh, the engine has to breathe. All right, a certain amount of air has to get to the intake. Now, that air comes through here, okay? You still can't get air from inside the car, so there has to be ducts air ducts going toward the outside so that fresh incoming air can actually get in and make it through the intake system into the engine now so where does this lead all right this is a i don't know if i can take this off but this leads to the bottom of the car yeah i can actually stick my hand in there now let's go toward the bottom i actually need to let this up in the air so y'all can get a better view but in fact i'm gonna do just that i'm gonna let this carpet in the air so we're gonna find out how low are they putting these air ducts. So the moral of the story is, if your air intake duct is sitting kind of high, you won't have this kind of problem, or this problem wouldn't be as as problematic as it is because the air intake is low. All right. So with this in place, yeah, you won't. You you obviously your air inlet port is at the bottom of the car. So when I get the car in the air, we're gonna take a look at where that ducts. This duct right here, where it leads to. I can almost bet at least toward the bottom. <laughs> All right, so which means you should not be going to through a puddle of water even that high. Because if you can get in there, it can make it all the way through your intake system. And kaboom. So y'all hold tight. I'm gonna wait till uh, we get this in the air and we'll look at, take a closer look at that intake on this particular car. Now all of them different, every car is different. So don't, don't think your car is the same as this one. I've seen some cars that the air inlet quite high right and just breathe it takes this incoming air right up through here which means you have to go through a puddle of water this high for that to happen to your vehicle but the, the thinking goes don't go through any puddle of water look you can still see yeah that's how that water enter you can still see it sitting in there all right so yeah y'all hold tight let's get the carpet in there Ready guys, we got it up in the air now. Let's finish our discussion on air intake. Okay, the inlet holes. Ooh, it's right here, guys. This is the tube that sucks in the incoming air that goes up to the air filter box that goes into the intake, guys. Alright, yes, and uh if water, so you can't you only have this much room. You shouldn't go into the puddle of water that high. That is low. Alright, some cars have the hose up a little higher. 
But no, guys, you're going to suck that water into your intake and you're going to end up needing a engine. He already got the, the new one in. Where is the old one? Where is the old one? Let's go take a look at the old one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is right here. All right. So all you guys out there criticizing the, the Pentastar, it's a good engine, but no engine could withstand the power of water. <laughs> yes, guys, you cannot compress that stuff. Look at that. It's all in the cylinders. It made its way all up in there and here. So the intake, okay, this is the intake area. This is where the fuel mixture is sucked into. So in the place of that mixture was water. The piston came up, kaboom. Whole engine seized up, guys. I don't even know how you got it off without of you know when you seized up, you can't rotate it. So your flywheel or flex plate is essentially locked to the torque converter. So how do you take the torque converter bolts off if the engine is seized and you can't rotate it? You know what you do? Find a way to rotate it. Okay, I think he ended up taking the oil pan off and uh, he ended up taking the oil pan off and uh, re loosening a couple of rod bearings or rod caps, okay, or main caps. One, whichever one was causing it to seize up, from there he was able to uh, was able to get it to rotate, all right? But look at that. Oh, my goodness. Get y'all a real good picture of that. Look at that water, man. I showed y'all the intake early on the earlier shorts. Take a look at that if you can see it. That's a shame. This engine is clean. Been getting his oil changes on time and everything. But now, it's going in the back of my truck for scrap. Because this is not warranty, guys. Um, car makers are not going to warranty stupidity. All right? They're not going to reward you for stupidity. That was stupid to ride through all that water. It's as simple as that. Call it like I see it. So, it's definitely not warranty. It's obviously some kind of aftermarket insurance claim. A warranty because it might not be the customer fault be careful by judging the customer guys this very well could have been uh who knows <laughs> he could have a puddle of water could have fell in front of him off a truck and that happened that makes it insurance okay yeah that's typically how that works so don't dog out the engine all the time all right now let's take a look at them yeah here go the intake remember when i showed y'all earlier the intake was full of water look at that that air cleaner is moist <laughs> just wet like a rag you can squeeze it like a rag and water would pour out but uh now i'm gonna wrap this up guys but i just want y'all to be careful we wanted to discuss the fact that the intake on this this is a challenger okay so the intake is fairly low do not ride through a puddle of water it's gonna suck it in right here and that will be catastrophic consequences he already got the new one in my man all right yeah we got a drop the rack when we do that so guys that's all i have for this video man i appreciate y'all watching these dead going videos all right stay safe out there don't ride through no water <laughs> thanks for watching